Check. Mike, Mike, check. One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Turn this up. And thank you for listening to this week's episode. We'll see you next time. Thank God. Cough on him when you come by. Just give me my juices all over. Yeah, juices.
<sighs> that sounds oh, disgusting. Don't use that word. It's like moist. He comes with his own He's Kleenexes. <laughs> thing of Kleenex. I wasn't lying. <laughs> you act like you were pissed off, so I was like, I better get over there. You can't tell emotion in a in a like, message. If you want to call in, fine. We're docking your pay if you do. <laughs> I said, if you want to call in, that's fine. You didn't say that's fine. You said fine. Well, it was like, I'm fine. <laughs> no, you were pissed because you said, you're letting us know at 4.15 you're not going to be here, which, by the way, it was 4.30. At 4.15. So it was even later. <laughs> but I wasn't saying I wasn't going to be here. I was just set, letting you know that I wasn't feeling well. Can we start the show? Oh, yeah, let's start this show of ours. It's going to be a good show, guys. It's going to be a great show. The camera's, like, kind of off. Yeah, well, apparently maybe. he's doing another podcast on his other time because there's a fourth station down there. No. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just be here. <laughs> you could move closer. <laughs> no, I, he can't. No, he wants me to be further away because I'm under the weather. He's contagious. So it wasn't last week that you were like, oh, I got this head cold thing. I had, my ears were stuffy last week. I never had like a sore throat or ears. stuffed up head or anything. I tell you what though, flu is going around real bad. I don't bad. have flu or anything like that. Stomach flu is going around real bad. No, I don't have anything like that. It's just. Hey, look, Greg's got uh, LED shop lights <clears throat> over there in boxes. Okay, are we ready to start this show? <laughs> yeah, waiting on you. Oh, man. Josh was here on time. We're waiting on you. <laughs> He's getting crabby. Don't, Are we? I'm uh, just pointing out don't, facts. Don't press his buttons. So. All right, here we go. Let's. He's bitching at me for not contributing. Intro. I had it all. Kinds of stuff. <laughs> Shut up! Better not talk on the intro. Sounded very magnificent this week. Like, uh, get out of my way. I'm the intro. Kind of like that. Okay. Welcome to Stuck yeah. in Beta. This hey. is the podcast that includes two guys named Josh and one guy named Greg. I would be Greg. <laughs> Guess what That's the true. other two are? <laughs> I'm yep. Josh. I'm Josh, too. <laughs> so, Christmas is come and gone. Yeah. 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 It's sad, isn't so it? So it was Carrie Fisher. Oh, come on Man. now. What? Well, I know, but you said it kind of like, you know. No, that was dude, that was with remorse and a, it, a mournful soul. That It was, yeah. You know. I uh, wasn't trying to make a joke there. That's hey, bad. That's I'll be bad completely karma. honest with you guys. That is probably the saddest death news that I've had. All, and I'm by no means a Star Wars geek, and we can get to that later. But I was like really kind of sad about that news. I, I totally agree. Yeah, I like, was wow. too. Like, yeah, I don't, none of the other... I mean... I don't know why. I, like, Willy Wonka... Uh, George, uh, George. George. Gene Wilder Gene died Wilder. this yeah. year. I mean... Now, he was really old, though. He right? was, yeah. but... How old 80 was... 80-something, 83, something like that. Was he that old? I think so. Wow. But, I mean, there were a lot of big big stars yeah. that died. Big uh, music. Snape. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Alan Rickman. Yeah. Uh, but that one, I, I agree. David like I, Bowie. I heard that one and it just like kind of, kind of stung. Like, yeah. So, to, well, I, and I think maybe I wonder if it was because of the, uh, because it took, you know, she went, she, was it like three days later after she went into cardiac arrest that she, she passed away or two days later, whatever it was. Yeah. They said she never really regained consciousness. But reports that were coming in were like, at first she was like in critical and then it went to stable condition after, yeah. after that. So. I was like just shocked because I heard it on the radio and I was like, "Whoa, no way!" I just I, and then I started looking looking it yeah. up to make sure it was true because I thought maybe it was I, misreported. To me, I think it's it's kind of because it's your childhood. I mean, sure. it's probably all three of us kind of our first crush on a girl, Princess Leia, <laughs> right? You know? I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know, know that I, I agree far, with but, that. Well, anyway. <laughs> We it, know Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> I Return think, of the Jedi, come on. 
I think for me it was just uh, because she was young. She was still pretty active. She's the same age as my parents. Yeah. She was born in 56. My mom and dad were born in 56. Yeah. Well, and, I mean... And a female with a heart condition doesn't usually... You don't normally hear about it. Well, and I would be willing to bet it had something to do with that flight. Really? That she had a blood clot. Yeah. Oh, that really? Be my guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. Eight hours on a plane or ten hours on a plane. Oh, that's, yeah. That's when you're seated in a certain way. It could have yeah. been her leg and just yeah. shot up to her. That happens a lot. Man. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why they say if you're traveling for more than three hours in a seated position that you you really should take an aspirin. Huh. Because or, your, yeah. Your chance of uh, blood clot go up quite a bit. Gosh. There's not really, on a plane, there's no real chance to get up and. Unless Take a you're, walk, unless you know? you're in first class, you can stretch your legs, which I'm sure she was in first class. Right, but yeah, it was crazy. Uh, real sad news. I mean, also hey, George Michael died on yeah, Christmas that Day. Was weird Day. too, you Last know. Christmas. And he was what they say, fifty three. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was really. Young. I, I wonder what the story is there. Never guessed he was that young. Did, have they said anything about? No, what they his... say his family's fighting like crazy now, and they're all blaming each other. So what? Yeah. Oh man. He had a pretty rough. I mean, he had quite a bit of drug addiction, didn't he? When he was younger, probably. Yeah. So did Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, and Carrie Fisher was diagnosed bipolar. Yeah. Uh, drug issues. Yeah. She just had that book that came out. Yeah. When yeah. She was talking about her uh, her relationship with uh, yeah. Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. <laughs> Ford. Hell. She was nineteen whenever. Yeah. And yeah. He was thirty three. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, I think he was yeah. married with kids, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think he was. Wow. And that's what the whole thing was, is like, you know, she was basically letting she the was world know woman. that, yeah, wow. that was going on, but... I don't know. It It, it is... I To me, it's kind of like, you know, we just saw her in Force Awakens. Yeah. Yeah. You got... Uh, she's, they're already wrapped on the... Yeah, they're uh, doing post. Yeah. Uh, eight, you know. I don't know what they're going to do with not... Nine. I read the was other she day. Eight? She eight. Well, she was in. Yeah. So they must not kill her off in eight. Eight is eight. The one that's not out yet. The, it'll right. be out next, next year. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next Christmas. The continuation of Force Awakens. Right. Okay. Um, I read an article that they're more than willing to bring her back with digital editing. So, I mean, they did it with uh, that uh, General Tarkin. Yeah. And Rogue to me, Rogue. a lot of people are like. Oh, you could really tell and all I that. I, I, tell. I, I thought, hey, it, I I thought they it. hired his son. I thought it looked really good. I did too. From what I heard, it was another actor who actually played the role. With a green suit? or I, I wonder if they just, like, you know, adjusted his face. Whoop. Whoa. Adjusted his face or whatever. Because huh. you just get a bald, thin man. Yeah, that's just... why I figured they hired his son. If yeah. he had a kid. I don't know that he had kids. Josh, have you seen it? I have. Okay, yep. so can we finally talk about Rogue sure, One? Sure, let's do it. Okay, uh, it's a little bit of spoiler time right here. Yeah, I guess. It, yeah this is going to be spoiler. So fast forward about. I don't but know, is it really a minutes. spoiler? We know what Everybody's happens. Everybody's seen it. <laughs> yeah. Right? If you haven't seen it by now, see you're it. not going to see yeah, it. Yeah, it's your own damn fault for not seeing it. So, what'd you think? Um, Either of you. I guess I'll go. Uh, I've, I've said this before. Kind of the beginning's kind of slow. I felt that jumping planet to planet, you know, I don't need to see 18 planets at first. Uh, and because it's a lot of buildup of nothing at that beginning. Once uh, it, there's a few po- parts where you're like, um, uh, uh, Jen, wasn't that her name? Jed. Jed or Jen. Something like that. Jed. <laughs> Jed? No, it's Jen, right? I don't know. Either way, the main female character. She she's in that prison at one point and you don't really find out why yeah. you don't know any reason right, for it yeah. it's just like she's there yeah, yeah she's I, yeah, in I a thought, transport truck yeah, yeah that confused me too it, she went from being a little girl right to that that's the next scene yeah, yeah. yeah. that scene and then she's yeah. in that transport truck they're doing yeah. this build up of something right. you're like well what the hell is this and then she's in prison I'm yeah, like well yeah. you didn't build up to that yeah. you know. Forrest Whitaker's character I mean, he did fine, but it just, to me, I don't know, it could have been more. Was it really needed? Yeah. I don't... It's a real character in one of the cartoons, Star Wars Rebels. Really? Now, I've I've never watched this show, but that's just from reading other... The one that's on Disney Channel now? Yeah. I don't know. I was kind of, not confused by his character, but 
he I plays I, the I, voice I, too. I think on that, on the show. Also. Oh really? I wanted. I guess I wanted him to be more because I mean, hell, it's Forrest Whitaker. I mean, that's yeah. And he was gone. I yeah, mean, it was like it, first half the couple, movie, couple scenes, and that was it. Yeah, yeah I thought when, when seeing the pre. I mean, you, if you saw the pre, the uh, not the previews, the uh, the trailer. Yeah. you pretty much saw I agree. everything that he did. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I was confused by that. Yeah, but I don't know what. I you know it was. Like you guys said, a lot of buildup. I mean, I, it was, I would, I say it's okay. It's a fine movie, but it wasn't like I wasn't like excited about it afterwards no, I, or anything. My boys liked it. I we went on Christmas Eve and they they liked it a lot. They they thought it was really cool, which I was surprised because especially my youngest one, he was able to sit there through that whole beginning part, and I was like really nervous because I'm like, oh gosh, we're an hour into it, <laughs> yeah, like nothing get has on, happened. right, yeah, <laughs> right, and. He, Not a single lightsaber bat- battle yeah, in the whole until the last, what, yeah five minutes ten minutes yeah. well yeah. yeah until you see Darth Vader yeah. pulling out yeah I like the the Darth Vader pulls out <laughs> yeah his red one I like the fight scene on the in the um, what is it the 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 islands or the beach Scarif. planet yeah the Scarif. beach planet yeah. yeah yeah that was cool that, yeah I mean, that was, that was a highlight of the movie totally reminded me of and I, I've told I told somebody this today it, it's not. A, Rogue One is not a Star Wars movie. It, it's to me, it is more of a war movie, and I think we've talked about that. That it it plays that role or that storyline of a war movie. Very similar, not putting it on the same category or the same pedestal as uh, Saving Private Ryan or Band of Brothers, but from the story development, the character yeah. development, and the fact that everybody dies. Yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. in that movie dies. No, and, yeah, and there's. An- that is totally. It's a it's a big of, downer, you yeah, know. It's not a happy movie, it, right? Yeah. yeah, everybody dies <laughs> because that planet gets destroyed. Well, yeah, I mean the main character, that main female character, yeah. and the guy, they're on the beach, right? They, right. They die. Um, yeah. Everybody but, uh, that was in the ship, all the little rebel people that were trying to help them get the plans off of the planet, they are all dead. The yeah. blind guy's dead. Yeah, the blind guy. I guess he had somewhat of a force i agree or something he does it doesn't really say he's got like a little bit of it in him or something yeah he was a badass yeah i mean he could whip some ass with that stick i like the other guy's gun yeah it was awesome i don't know it was whatever it was compared to what everybody else had he could like and he had that pack on yeah yeah. 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 and he could like it was like a i guess it was like a machine gun but it shot you know lasers obviously right that was pretty cool i never seen anything like that before that i can remember than a Star Wars movie. It was it was a good movie. I I mean I really it, it was good. I liked it. I yeah. Don't, I don't know. I yeah I enjoyed it too. I I think um, second half was really yeah really a lot better right. than the first half. The last ten minutes to me. Oh, just <laughs> I mean I I was really loving when when you see Darth Vader at the end yeah. on the well, ship. Killing other, all the rebels. The other part that I really liked at the end was the fact that they were showing the rebels taking that card with the plans and running it. Yeah, you know, that's the, what I'm talking about. The door about. got yeah. stuck. Yeah. They hand it through the door. Princess Leia turns yeah. around. And they're handing it to her. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's. I mean, it. Whoa. It's totally different because it's that one you have an off. Issue? Yeah, it's that one off. You know, sidestep from episode. What I guess between three and four, right? Well, it butts up right to four. I yeah, mean, to the beginning of four. Really, four. I I actually watched four recently because of that. I don't know that you could say it was a sequel to episode three. It's you know it's kind of out there hanging on its own. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it, it's good. but it's worth one seeing. thing I like. Well, we probably should sum this up soon, or else the whole episode will be about. <laughs> but I did like how they actually. Um, kind of put in place. Okay, the the guy, the designer, the the builder for it actually put that uh, weakness that weakness into Death Star. Yeah. So it's not just some you know little trope in in Episode Four that oh yeah you just shoot this and it explodes. Right. No, someone it was put there intentionally. Yeah. Which it it kind of uh, it fills in that little little gap. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So is that our Star Wars segment? I, I guess Star that's a, that's our Star Wars segment. Uh, any any of you guys get anything uh, cool for Christmas? 
Google Home. Yeah, I, I did not. I know you guys have all kinds of gadgets you probably want to talk about. It was I a, didn't get it anything. It was a googly Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like the Google Home. I, I, I got a Google Home also. I didn't get it. Jackson got it, but yeah, <laughs> we're reaping the benefits of it. I got, and I got the new Google, the Ultra, the 4K oh, yeah. version. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really fast. It's quick. So, have you gone back and tried Sling on that again to see if that solves the lag? No, issues? because I've got, I'd have to, I'd have to pay for Sling. You get it, open up another email account, get a seven day free uh, trial. Yeah. Is it the, this is the Chromecast you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. But what's nice is, well, I was I was explaining it to yeah. you the other night all of the stuff it could do. But the the, I mean, for me, the coolest thing is being able to pull up videos with your voice, just yeah. saying, "Hey, I want to watch this." Throw it up on my TV, and boom, yeah. it puts it up there. You know. We, we've used it to listen to music. Uh, we did a lot of baking, set timers with it, and that's using it to create our shopping list for the grocery store. Um, yeah, the wake me in 30 minutes, that's nice. It doesn't do yeah, like a... Wake me in 30 minutes? Yeah, like you could take a nap, you know, or something like that. <laughs> like, I like how um, when it when it actually alarms, it's not a obnoxious right. alarm. I haven't done the wake me thing. Yeah, just say like, "Hey Google, wake me up in thirty minutes, and it'll." Huh? I'll I try mean, that. it's probably the same as a, the. I'm sure timer. it's the same as the reg- yeah, because all we I mean we say, "Hey Google, set a timer for fifteen minutes, and it sets yeah. a timer." Hmm. I do like that you can say, "Hey Google, how much time is left on my timer?" and it will tell you how much time. Yeah. Is left on your timer. I was I did that uh, yesterday, and I'm like, man, this seems like I it should have it should have rang by now, and I said. Hey Google, how much longer? It's like you have 19 seconds left. <laughs> yeah, I'm like oh. But, yeah, we're uh, playing Netflix with it. We're uh, setting the temperature in our house with it. Uh, you know, the daily. What's my day like? It tells you the weather and your appointments and that kind of stuff. It's fun. Just I'll be inter- interested if I'm still using it as much in about a month. You know, yeah, I, I bet we will. <laughs> You guys are always cutting edge, and I'm as I'm listening to I talked to Greg about it at length the other night. And I was trying to, I was trying to determine if it would fill any if you, holes that right. I have in my life, and I was like, yeah, I see it as another gadget, and it's fun to play with and all that. But it's like every morning whenever, whenever I get up, I typically scroll through my phone and do sure. all those things that you just talked about. What's the weather? What's but now my, you don't have to. <laughs> and you I could just be making imagine. breakfast and having it read to you. Yeah, but yeah, if. If you wake up before Lori, though, right? She's I, still in. You, yeah, I don't want. She'd be to, like today's news, and you know. <laughs> well, but she don't want it. She, yeah, yeah, you want it to be I mean, quiet. Yeah, I'm, we're not keeping ours in our bedroom. Ours is in the living room. Yeah, I mean, so is mine. But I mean, it's still depending on the volume you have. It's still. Oh, have you figured out that you can instead of just saying "Hey, turn it down," you can say "Hey, set volume at twenty percent." Oh yeah. Yeah, and then it'll set it at like oh, you know, cool. twenty to fifty, whatever you tell it to. Huh. So, yeah, that was that was a fun gift I got. Got a bunch of gift cards and stuff to places, and I got a big uh, one of those uh, expandable ladders. What do you oh, call cool. those? Uh, expandable they, ladder. Where they they fold, up. they fold up into real small, and oh, then they okay. could go. Hmm. I got one of those from uh, Molly's parents. Cool. So that was really nice. They must think you need to get on the roof or something. Yeah. Get those lights down. Yeah. <laughs> Are your lights still up? Is your tree... I didn't notice. Is your tree, uh, tree, tree is down? Tree is down. Ours is down, too. Ours came down yesterday. Ours is still up. I'm the oddball who leaves mine up. We my, I mean, both my wife and I feel the same about it. We always have... And traditionally, in our when, growing up, we, the tree always stayed up until after New Year's. New Year's Eve. Oh, really? So, like, usually New Year's Day is whenever we take them down. Yeah. We don't typically get ours up... Like, a lot of people, I've been hearing people putting their tree up before Thanksgiving yeah, now. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, and we don't even normally get ours up Thanksgiving weekend. It's usually, like, a week or, or so later. Yeah, I think we, yeah, we probably had ours up uh, the maybe that Sunday before Thanksgiving. Wow. Yeah. So I we're pretty back. early getting yeah. it up, but ours isn't real either, so... yeah. I think we did ours before Thanksgiving, but it was like a day or two because we were going to be busy with other stuff yeah. or something. 
Yeah, so ours is still up. It's real. And, but if uh, you're having a New losses, Year's, if yeah. you're having a New Year's party though too, right. it's kind of nice having that up. Yeah, it is. Yep. But yeah, you were saying you get depressed if the tree is I, still around. I don't after know. It, it's Day. just one of those things to me. I got I, my presents. Put the damn tree away. That's <laughs> well. I don't feel like that. It's kind of like you have that whole. That wholesome Build up, uh, Christmas time of year, you know, all that feel wholesome. good. Yeah. I just feel like that that feeling or whatever should continue throughout this entire week and into the new year. It's still like going to end, and then you got to look at that and go, <laughs> when you look at it in February. And, uh, well, hey, know. at least the days are getting longer now. The solstice, the winter solstice has happened, and the days are getting longer by, what, minutes a day now? Right. I, yeah. yeah. So that will help with your mood. In all honesty, the, the Christmas tree, I don't even know where it originates from. We could probably look that up, but it doesn't have anything to do with Christmas. You know, I mean, Jesus it's just... didn't have one? I don't think so. I don't think there was a, uh, some sort of uh, conifer in the... Uh, conifer. <laughs> in the uh, in manger, but... Yeah, they were palm trees. Right. Probably. Yeah. Or no trees. Or no trees, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was so, what said to be in a cave, probably. Yeah. Here we go, interpreting the Bible. <laughs> in the spring. In the spring. Yeah. 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 Uh, don't write letters about Oh, boy. No, don't do that. Don't write letters. We don't. We don't what, all care. two people? Yeah. Uh, hey. Hey. Yo, that hey. Hurt. Wow. That hurts. So, uh, you hey. might, Mike probably is sending flaming messages in the chat. No, right uh, now. no sure not. Thanks no, it doesn't. No. You're listening, and it will be waking me up in 30 minutes. Oh. Oh, that's a net, I guess. So, <laughs> so it's funny. Uh, apparently, Josh's wife was listening to it loud enough where the Google Home at their house heard it. Wow. So now it'll be waking them up in 30 minutes. <clears throat> Interesting. So it can it, it just listens to anybody's voice. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that is one downfall. Like I could go upstairs and I did right. it earlier. I turned Greg's thermostat off. For him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we, that's funny. We were at uh, uh, Molly's aunt and uncle's house this, this weekend for Christmas, and uh, they had he just got her uncle got an Alexa or Amazon Echo. Yeah, <laughs> and his uh, her dad says, hey. Is this hooked to your Amazon account and all that? Goes, yeah. Goes, hey Alexa, why don't you buy two tickets to uh, I forgot what he said or whatever. <laughs> and then the uh, Amazon Echo was like two tickets to so it said where it was. Yeah. That'll be four thousand six hundred eighty two dollars. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you want to purchase this? Oh, and then wow. Everyone's like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to purchase it? No. That's funny. So, yeah. <laughs> that That's kind of one of the things. It probably needs to learn your voice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice that someone else could do it, too. Right. But then, yeah, someone could do that. Yeah. Um. So, uh, I was going to... Do you guys have any... Favorite things that happened this year? I mean, this is probably this is our last episode of uh, 2016. 2016 and recap. I I couldn't think of it. I've got a horrible um, memory yeah. when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> you can't remember what's happened over the last year. No, he we were talking about movies. He goes, well, like, well, I saw, I saw Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, I saw Rogue One. Like, and then it stopped. Oh. I don't know. Uh, uh, great radio. So. I know, yeah, we could do a whole episode on significant deaths, I guess. Well, <laughs> yeah, not, I mean, reading you know, through some of those names, we've yeah. already kind of done that, but yeah. That's pretty um, pretty wild. Uh, Greg's got something, otherwise it wouldn't right. be on the agenda. Let's hear it, Greg. Well, no. Sometimes I'll, you ask questions and I don't know exactly what kind of answer you're looking for. <laughs> Remember last time? What's your favorite movies? I don't mean favorite yeah. movies. Yeah, no, it was no, Christmas movies. Yeah, movie. it was Christmas movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, however you interpret it. Just like the Bible. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a callback. <laughs> so uh I was thinking of, you know, best T V shows or whatever of twenty sixteen. Obviously, Stranger Things came out this year. This guy hated it. I, I don't know why. It. I couldn't make it past episode one. I, I don't you understand. Said you were give that another try though. I haven't. I don't understand because I love that and that's probably one of my favorite uh, it, it's six episodes, isn't that it? 
six or, six or eight. eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it isn't very long at all. So it's there isn't much time you put into it. But man, that's great entertainment. Yeah, I enjoyed it quite a bit. There, I, yeah, that was that's probably the highlight of TV for for the year because I know I, well, I didn't watch anything else that I can think of. Uh, yeah, that as a family because that felt just. It, you got the nostalgia of the 80s. That's why you liked it. Yeah. Which, yeah, I mean, definitely. That's right in my wheelhouse. Next year, Despicable Me 3 is going to be your favorite movie of the year. Well, okay. I love the Goldbergs every year. I, yeah, that's or a good every, show. Yeah. every year. Yeah, every year. I, I, I continue to watch that every episode. When that comes out, I want to watch it. It's just one of the. I mean, the last episode was about the Star Wars holiday special. You're, that. Uh, that one that yeah, it came out. They played it just once, and it was awful. Yeah, I don't remember it. It was really bad. Well, anyway, uh, so uh, you told me you really enjoyed Daredevil this year. Yeah, that, because that was the Punisher. Yep. Was in yeah. It. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's true, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you were yelling at me. Yep. That was a, that's a, that's a and the, and the Punisher is supposed to have his own uh, his own show eventually, right? Or is that yeah? Or is he just part John of, Bernthal uh, is going to be yeah? I think they're shooting it now. Really, that'd yeah. be cool. And I haven't gotten I haven't brought myself to watch any of those other Netflix uh, original the Marvel shows. Yeah, I. I I keep wanting to, but I guess kind of like you with Stranger Things. Well, no, you didn't like it. You gave it one. I gave it a yeah. shot, I yeah. guess. Okay. Five but, minutes and I'm done. No, I, <laughs> maybe 30. All the other ones uh, I keep meaning to, to get into and either just don't have the time or something else comes up. and I don't know that they're really young kid appropriate, although my kids have probably seen way worse. But you know, some of those are pretty... Pretty intense. Have you watched Orange Is the New Black? I Man, it's not. You no, know, with the kids. That's not no. Kid yeah, no, that's not kid appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. I, we still like that show. That's, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty. See, I didn't like the last season, and I didn't it's start really watching slow. this season. Yeah. Well, this season there's only three seasons. Yeah, there's only. Three. No, this is like four, isn't no, it? They release them in June. Four's not out yet. Oh, I thought. Or the newest four. season isn't out yet. Yeah. Put it that way. Oh. Well, I thought it was last year when I didn't watch, and then this year I didn't watch either. Yeah, well, the uh, I forget her name, but the one uh, the girl died. Which one? Oh, spoilers. <laughs> uh, Puse. Yeah, she died. They were they had that big revolt, and the one guard right, was right, like right, kneeling yeah. on her chest or yeah. whatever. Yep, yep. Um, no, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. I mean, Big Bang Theory is what awesome. we always watch, but. I have never. You've never watched that? that. We we did like, and this is another thing. I'm I'm kind of I don't know. I'm yeah, kind of conservative four. when it comes to some of that stuff. And we sat down and we're watching Big Bang with the kids. This was years ago. I, how long has it been on now? That's with it's when the seasons. robot hand was grabbing his junk. I don't remember. That's when you put an end to it. I remember. Yeah. What'd you say? What this is? It's on? tenth season. Oh I wow! Think. So yeah, this could have been seven years ago. I don't know, but yeah. we were watching it and and. Uh, yeah, it was like my kids were really little, and it was like it just was so uncomfortable. I was like this is just, I don't know. I just I don't like sitting there watching sexual things with my kids. But they they watch Friends. Oh, yeah. I I don't think uh, it's Friends is a lot more tame than than that. Really, show. I don't think it's that much different. I think it's pretty much the exact show. Really? Yeah. Like it's very similar. Yeah. They have kind of that same chemistry or the big group of yeah people yeah. and. They're always Again, though, doing stuff together. They, they, I mean, we haven't watched Friends all that long together. I mean, it's been several years now, but that Big Bang incident probably happened a good seven or eight years ago. <laughs> the Big, Big Bang incident. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Pardon me. I've got to blow my nose again. Oh. Well, I tell you one of my... Uh, before we get out of TV, which I guess that's kind of what we're doing. TV segment. TV of uh, 2016. Um which is kind of surprising to me. I really enjoy this show, This Is Us. And I've talked about it before on this show. I think it's just a clever show. Um, Did they cancel it? No, I don't think so. Must have been in the mid-series or mid-season finale. Yeah. Um, yeah, it it ended kind of a cliffhanger on the mid, mid-season finale. Yeah. Kind of how all those do now. Yeah. Um, but I... I feel that it's really clever writing and 
it's one of those shows that I shouldn't like because, you know, these dramas and all that. I'm like, eh, that's stupid or whatever. But it's... <laughs> Chick it's, stuff. Next, yeah. you'll be watching Lifetime movies. But it's very... Gilmore Girls is back. Right? They do uh, a very good job of um, making you, Cry. you know, the, <laughs> that and making you interested because they... They have. I can't really even talk about it because there's so that. much that I would give away. Because I'll cry, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I really like it. Hey, do you guys, uh, you want some beer? Sure. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, you gonna give us some uh, homebrew? How's I'm that? trying to think. He said it was kind of. You say it was kind of flat. Yeah. Really? What the heck? Well, I upped the carbonation and I shook it a little bit. Really? Man, that was a fantastic beer. And I took, oh, it uh, still tastes good. Yeah, I I grabbed a like a half a growler. Um, yeah, what was that like Friday? Thanks for offering. And uh, Give me some. <laughs> well, I, you I, gotta be I, here. I came and got it because I was halfway on my way here to help him fix his furnace, but it started working when I was halfway here. So I said, "Well, I'm gonna come get some beer." But yeah, it was the uh, the first day. It it held its carbonation, and then the second day out of the growler, it was like just pouring. I mean, it had huh. no head at all. So, you didn't shake it up really good. I did, but I mean, is that how you're supposed to recreate carbonation? <laughs> probably not. That'll probably make it flatter yeah, faster. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it was it was kind of disappointing. I don't know if we just not. It's probably. I mean, we started drinking it soon after. Yeah. Because I had the carbonation up to about thirty, and uh, that's how you would carb it, force carb it, hmm. and then I turned it down to serving temperature or pressure like about five hours after yeah and i mean it, it was fine then but it it probably needs to be uh recarbed yeah hmm. which shouldn't be a big deal no well, while we're talking about beer did you want to talk about our trip to schlafly the other day yeah sure so it was their 25th anniversary i can't well, believe they've been around yeah. that long 1991 and uh they were uh, on the news the day after, or maybe it was that, yeah, it was the day after, and they were talking about how it was, um, you guys probably already know this, but it was the second, uh, or it was the, the first brewery in Missouri or in the St. Louis area since Prohibition. Wow. Wow, man. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yep. That's crazy. And then uh, they were talking about how, gosh, I think it was only like, not even 10 years ago, they were saying that there was like, you know, maybe only four or five breweries within like a, a 10 mile or 20 mile right. radius and now there's something like 60 they say yeah it's really grown mm. yeah it's pretty crazy i remember that tour you used to take at schlafly and they would say before prohibition in missouri there was like hundreds yeah. of breweries i mean there are probably a lot of like just uh like a restaurant with their own brew right. or whatever sure. but still you Kinda know like what it is not what it's growing. yeah what it's, it's growing, growing yeah, into to be, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. It's still, you know, yeah. I, if I'm if I'm going there to drink a beer, I'm probably gonna want to eat some food, right? Yeah. You know, so. And that's the whole reason that Anheuser Busch was able. To, I mean, if you go on that tour, they say that they did all these other things to keep themselves in business, so that then they started brewing soda, beer wasn't it? Yeah, they, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> the yeah. Root beer and baking goods and right, all those other places, I guess, just shut down. Well, you look but, at like. Um, Oh hell! What's right across the street? Not across the street, but across the highway from Asia. Limp, Falstaff. Limp. Yeah, Limp and yeah. Falstaff and all of those were yeah. that way. Yeah, but yeah, that was a that was a hell of a turnout they had there on Monday night. I we didn't know I didn't know what to expect. You've been there before. I don't know if it was as busy or busier than what you'd seen in the past. But I was just shocked that there were people like parking down the street and around the corner and different. We got lucky with our parking spot. <laughs> he pulls up Wasn't it uh, Bottle Works or the other they, one? It was at both. Oh, yeah, we went to both. Bottle Works. Yeah. It was, For it, those that don't know, Schlafly Beer in St. Louis, it's, uh, it's a really awesome brewery. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Greg's going to have his, uh, or Greg and Molly are going to have the reception. Yeah, at the, at the uh, tap, room. tap room. Downtown. Yeah, don't think of crashing South it. South City. <laughs> On uh, March. Yeah. <laughs> Man, and that's coming up. Yeah, that gosh. Is. Yeah. Just talking. To... <laughs> 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 uh, uh, 
So <laughs> I got a, I play a I play a small small part, a little bit bigger of a part than what you play, Josh. But I play I play a much smaller part than what Greg plays, obviously. But I was like, whenever I saw that post the other day, like seriously, yeah. I commented and said I'm getting nervous. That was not. That was that was true <laughs> feelings. I was like, oh crap. Yeah, I would have never guessed it was that soon. Already. Yeah, I remember doing the best man toast at uh, <laughs> at the wedding. My wedding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and being like, remember I was you were rocking so back scared. and forth. Yeah. I was shaking. I don't I know wish what a video of that somewhere. I, I know. Somebody I was. I was so nervous, and I don't know why. The age before cell phones. Yeah, and I know. Yeah, yeah I know. Thank God. Thank uh, uh, yeah, 2000. But 2000. now, I don't think it would be that big a deal. I don't yeah. know. Something Well, you say anymore. that, but now that I'm looking at staring yeah. at 75 days or whatever it is. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my oh. God. <laughs> uh, you have that? enough to drink before that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the scary thing, too. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, we got this... Uh, Shuttle bus that we're yeah. gonna drive around for five or six hours. I'm like, no, I can't. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Write it down. Go, and then we're gonna go to Schlafly, where we're, there's gonna be a lot more beer. And you're like, they have, they're gonna have twelve beers on tap. You can try them all. <laughs> <laughs> try them all, yeah. <laughs> Need a little badge. I tried them all. <laughs> yeah. That that is a good idea. <laughs> 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 I don't think I'll be able to. Probably oh, God, uh, no. won't have time. I mean, unless even if I flights. tried the little samples, I don't flights. think I could. I wonder if they'll do know. that. I well, I bet know. they will. But should I get one of the beers? I don't know what I got. Yeah, I'll have a beer. All right, hold on one sec. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, okay. I'll give you a topic. Uh, just so I went to go see a movie last night. Yeah, what did you go see? That uh, Christmas office party. Oh yeah, how was it? Yeah, party. right. Yeah, Jennifer so, Aniston and uh, Jason Bateman. Yeah. It was okay, but it was disappointing because we went in with the intention of seeing that Why Him movie, which is oh yeah, that's uh, Brian Cranston yep. and his daughter Dayton James Franco. Yeah. yeah, that movie looks hilarious, and I was so we were so disappointed because Warenberg has the five dollar right. tickets on Tuesdays, and I didn't even think about it being like incredibly crowded, Uh-oh. but um, at the Arnold uh, Cinema which is the one we went to, the parking lot was jam-packed, foot filled all the way up to, like, there's a bank um, on the on the street there. And it, I mean, there's got to be several hundred parking oh, yeah. spots in that yeah. place. I've never seen it anywhere remotely really? full like that. And we go in, and, uh, I mean, there's a line, obviously, to get tickets. And we get up, and we're like the next person in line. And I hear the person in front of us, they said, Oh, that one's sold out. And we, we were like, what? We look up. Like, almost every movie in the place was sold out. Like, Star Wars was playing on two different theater, uh, two different screens that was sold out on both. Wow. Um, and then that Why Him was, was, was sold out. you got to figure, that's a hell of a deal. Five yeah, dollars, five that's bucks. half off. Yeah, pretty much. You said it was free popcorn, too? It was free popcorn, I think, for the for, if you have an MVP um Oh, the card. rewards oh, card? Yeah, you get free popcorn every Tuesday while this deal's going on. So that movie was, uh, I don't know. I, it, it, was, it was had some funny parts, but it wasn't... Uh, as good as the previews made it look like? I mean, if you saw the previews, you saw the movie, really. Yeah, really. I mean, and, that, and that could be the case with that Why Him movie, too. But <clears throat> they both, and, and they're very, uh, they're both very raunchy, you know. Yeah. Well, that's why you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, and there's no, like, it's not like all, you know, a bunch of nudity and stuff. It's just the language that they use. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what you guys' uh, day-to-day uh, <laughs> language is like, but people don't talk like that, at least uh, in my world. In IT, they do. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's all we... It's just FFF. Yeah. Well, we don't talk like that on this show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh... I poured you guys. This is a good beer. Yeah, it is. From Four Hands. Madagascar? No. No, this is Bonafide. Oh. Uh, it's a stout with coffee and vanilla beans. Yeah, this is a great beer. Imperial stout brewed with Madagascar vanilla beans and a single origin you could fully taste washed. The vanilla beans. That's why you yeah. said Madagascar, I'm sure. Yeah. A single origin fully washed Peruvian coffee. Did you say a Peruvian virgin? Peruvian coffee from yeah. Royal Coffee Importers Complex. Complex notes of coffee, dark chocolate, and roasted malt take center stage with nuances of vanilla. Oh, vanilla. (laughs) 
I should have ended there. <laughs> did you say what kind of hop was in it? Or does it say? I did not, and it does not say. It's good beer. It's good. The IBU has to be really low. I bet you it's yeah. 10 or less. Um, 9% alcohol. Yeah, you could tell it'd mess you up pretty quick. <clears throat> but it is very yeah. tasty. It's even good cold. Yeah. Like a lot of these I remember, like to warm up. Uh, this came out uh, maybe a few weeks ago. It's pretty. Uh, did you get it up there or did you get it from the store? Um, I got it up there. Did you? Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, it is tasty. That's your. So you were saying. Now I know we were comparing other uh, local St. Louis breweries, and we were talking about. Oh, because that same night we went to Schlafly, we went to Urban Chestnut for a oh, little yeah. bit just to to have a a beer, and um, yeah, it's like we were really high on them for a little while. Yeah, a few years ago. Yeah, it was like and everything we tried from them. We're like, oh, they're great. it was so unique, no. and yeah. yeah, now it's like almost too. Some of their beers are just so too intense. We're really like, like too hoppy, oh, or no? I just say I don't know. What, how would you describe it? I feel it's very they they go with a lot of German yeah. roots, yeah. like probably a lot of old recipes. Yeah. So to me, a lot of them are pretty similar. Like I think the one you had and the one I had, there were different beers, but they tasted pretty similar. Yeah. There wasn't there wasn't a lot of difference. Um, and I don't really, I, I still think they make a fine beer. You know, they they do some great beers, but um, maybe I've just kind of grown away from that. I don't know. That uh, coffee stout that they had, though, boy, that was, that was, that was tough. That was, it was, it was like black it's coffee. Extreme, oh, really? It's like, yeah, extremely uh, heavy uh, black coffee. I mean, there's no, there's no other flavor in it. it no sweetness like. to yeah. it. That one's tough to, to get down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to Urban Chestnut in years. That was well since they opened the place in the Grove. I that's the one there. we went to. You haven't been to that one. Uh, it's a neat place, though. I've heard it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it is, and it's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's it's much bigger than Schlafly Bottle Works. Yeah. So I'm. I'm it's all sh- communal seating, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, a big and bar. their yeah their bar is huge. And like picnic tables or something, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. So we one. yeah we went down there because we were close and we used to it, what's weird is Schlafly we used to say uh, they you know they they kind of do the same thing they don't really have any new stuff now they have so many different beers and they they release like um, these packs with four new ones you've never even heard of yeah. weren't they doing a couple of test brews a couple of years ago and releasing them in six packs or something. Is that they do the hop. Somebody else. They do the hop. Uh, hop trials. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's what it was. There was a sign there that said that they released ninety different beers. Holy in crap! Twenty sixteen. Yeah. Wow. wow. And and the 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 frustrating thing. I mean, it's mildly frustrating, I guess. But a couple of the beers that we really like, and one of them in particular, we were looking forward to. They discontinued. Uh, the ESB. ESB. Was telling yeah. Me, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, there's a, they're, they got all kinds of new stuff coming out, but some of the stuff that we liked that we I guess could have complained about that they like always had the same thing. We're like, well, now they don't have that. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, yeah. Well, what else in 2016 you want to talk about? What are you looking forward to in 2017? Oh. Uh, Wedding. Yeah, I'm getting oh, married. Man. That's my <laughs> Faster, faster. <laughs> I'm going to marry my lovely fiance. <laughs> well, that's a given. I, oh, you know, yeah. That, yeah. Come on, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky you didn't see the Star Wars movie before he said that. Before he said that's that. why I said I yeah. brought it up because he was. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'm <laughs> yeah. looking forward to Justice League, Spider Man. <laughs> and I'm getting married. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And uh, I'm married. Getting married. Yeah. There, oh, I'm looking at the list of movies and. <laughs> Maybe this is every year, but it's... Well, you got to think, too. Those, what, 12 movies that are on your screen right now that you're excited about are going to be spread out over 52 weeks. Well, yeah. Well, no. These will all be in that summer or, yeah. week. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, there's 10 or 12 ones that you're really excited about, and then the rest of them suck. Yeah. 
it'll be like you know tell you what though lego batman i'm <laughs> i'm really excited about lego batman i think it's gonna be awesome another pirates of the caribbean movie apparently isn't that oh. like seven or something there's a fast and the furious eight i think it's called fast eight i believe <laughs> I I've uh, never, I've never watched a single one of those no, movies. No, really. No. The the fate of the furious, um, and I think that it's yeah. like F eight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, and triple X. That's so coming back. Triple yeah. X Return of Xavier or something. Yeah. No, so he's Xander. got Xander. Xander Cage. So yeah. he's got two movies. I mean, he's like, he's pretty much the exact same character <laughs> in both of those movies. But and then he says, "I am Groot." World War Z two is also coming out. Did you see the first one of those? Nope. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did see that. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Just it was. I didn't think it needed a second one, but most sequels don't need to be made. No, no. Unless it's Star Wars. Well, I mean, some have an actual story built up already. You know. It's up like, on your screen, but did you see they're redoing Jumanji? Oh yeah. Oh, The Rock plays. What what role does The Rock play? I don't know. I just saw the. Was it a preview during? Maybe it wasn't a preview. I thought I saw a preview during. Is it a remake or is it just new people find the board game? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't that interested to get that deep into. Because I really. The Rock is everywhere. The Rock is, and yeah, he's yeah. He. Oh, there's a Baywatch. Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. The, he's in that. <laughs> yeah, so I don't. Is, uh, so ridiculous. And uh, oh, Zac Efron. Yeah, Zac Efron. Yeah. And that movie looks so ridiculous. I mean, the TV show was obviously. The I mean, TV yeah, show was great. They're they're, <laughs> they're playing <laughs> off the ridiculousness. Yeah, yeah, you know. they are. Yeah. The TV show was great TV. I I don't know. I I think The Rock is very likable. I think I don't know if he's been in a lot of winners. You know, as, no, he's kind of a. As far as movies go, like but <laughs> what? Hey, I wouldn't call him like an A-lister, but I guess he is. I don't know. He does. There, but... He does a lot though. And he gets yeah. paid serious money. Oh, I'm sure money. he does. You know, but he's never been like a star, like won an you Oscar. Know, yeah, not that level. Yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> he's done a crap ton of movies though. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, he's he's everywhere. Yeah, but huh. oh, was, was it last? I guess it was last year. They were saying Kevin Hart was the highest paid. Celebrity. Oh, really? Because he was in so many, and things. wasn't he one of the ones that like they got the least return on his movies? Probably, yeah. Like his movie, he got paid a crap ton of money, but those yeah. movies made zero to nothing yeah. profit wise. Wow, I think uh, that was the first year that he had surpassed Jerry Seinfeld, or anybody surpassed Jerry Seinfeld. Huh? And it was by a huge margin. Jerry Seinfeld still gets he still gets paid really, and that's Seinfeld. just for yeah, fifty million dollars a year, and that's just for. Uh, residuals yeah. of his... Oh, wow. my gosh. Because so, he's the executive producer of it, so he owns all the rights to the show. So Larry David probably gets the other... Fi- There's probably 50 for... Maybe. I don't know if it's split. 50-50, wow. but... Huh. Uh, you'll be happy to hear that there's a Pitch Perfect 3 coming out also. Those were good movies. I so. liked the first one. I thought the second yeah. one was kind of just bad. Same. Yeah, Probably. But you always say the odd number movies are typically. Oh yeah, Die Hard. Good. Yeah, <laughs> which I watched by the way. One over, and three. Uh, on Christmas Eve, I watched Die Great Hard. Great Christmas movie. Man, that movie still holds up. That is a sure. good. Movie. It's a good movie. Yeah. Carl Winslow. Yeah. 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 Like I don't. I mean, there wasn't anything about that movie that I was like, oh my gosh, this is cheesy. And it's like 1988, 89. Something I was like thinking that. 89 for some reason, but yeah, right around. Unlike uh, what did I see the end of Lethal Weapon Four, which they got stupid I don't know. towards the end. God, Lethal, it was first, so cheesy. One and two were pretty decent. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, that no got... one and three. <laughs> one and three. <laughs> the odd yeah. ones. Yeah, like oh. Back to the Future One and Three. Look, another Joel. Smurfs movie next year. Yeah, oh, well, I, I haven't seen any of those. Wait, yeah, yeah well, I have. Neither have I. Is it Neil Patrick Harris? I, I think know. this one's all animated. What do you actually. got against Neil Patrick Harris? I don't have anything against him. But it's like a couple of those movies we were talking about. Uh, oh, uh, what's his name? And he's in the album of the Chipmunks. I was like, whatever happened to uh, Jason, Jason Lee? Jason oh, Lee. And yeah. Then we were like, oh, yeah, he's done all those album of the Chipmunks movies. But I've not seen any of those either. Yeah, I think this one, yeah, Jimmy, this one's all, this Smurfs is all, all animated. animated. It's not like a live action. Huh. 
So the other ones were... Yeah, they oh, took yeah, place yeah, in right, the real right, world. Yeah. Okay. Live action Beauty and the Beast coming out next year. Emma Watson plays Beauty. Really? Huh. I know Fun. Molly's really excited about that. That's her favorite Disney movie. I don't yeah. <laughs> Now, will they have, so, like, like in Beauty and the Beast, all those, uh, all the, uh, the, like the, the candle and stuff the, comes yeah. alive. Yeah. yeah. Is that, is, you think it's Yeah. Alive? Yeah. I yeah. It shows that. in the little trailer for it, it, it shows them. Okay. Huh. I'm looking at this Jumanji. It's funny how. The the film stars Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Jack and Jack Black, Black Karen Gillian, Gillian, and Nick Jonas. Wow. It's a spiritual sequel and continuation to the 1995 film so of the same name. must be the next group of people to find the board game, I guess. If it's a continuation. I guess. And I actually really like Jumanji. Yeah, I thought that was a good story. movie. Yeah. Um, and I'm not... I'm one of the people that get annoyed by Robin Williams, but I actually like that movie. Why you gotta hate Robin Williams? I, okay. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. I think that was. Did he die last, this year? I too? think it was last year. No, I yeah. think it was last year. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, any uh, big uh, like resolutions or thing you want to do for 2017? I can't really think of anything. Oh, everything's great. My huh? life's pretty perfect. I got this show <laughs> going on. I'm oh, you're married? To... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got an awesome wife. Forget about that. Um, no, I can't really think of anything too significant. Any vacations you're looking forward to? You guys doing anything this year? We're going to try to do a couple vacations this year because we didn't do anything last year. Did you guys go to Colorado? No, last we, year? we were planning on it and we kind of pulled the plug a couple weeks before. So really? that's, that's one of them that we're hoping to do, Colorado, and then go and then probably go to a beach somewhere. We don't know if yeah, we'll go like. I think we're doing the beach too. <clears throat> I'd kind of like to go out to the. Out to the East Coast and go to like Virginia or. The water is North really Carolina. cold. Really? And the water is cold all year. Huh. Well, we went to Michigan. And that oh, Jesus. Was, yeah, that's really in, cold. Even in July, yeah. that was like... Lake Michigan, it, your feet crazy. hurt. It's so cold. Yeah. yeah. I could barely, yeah, step yeah. in it. That hurts. That yeah. was wild. But it's beautiful weather. Oh, yeah. The weather is gorgeous up there yeah. during the summer. Yeah. The, 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 the water was like, I think it was like 60-something. Yeah. <laughs> It's I remember chilly. the I remember the Atlantic. We went to Outer Banks a couple of years for a vacation, and I remember the Atlantic being that way where you you'd get in up to like your ankles and your feet would hurt because it's yeah. so cold and it's like well screw it and just take the plunge and yeah go in. and once you're yeah, in you're fine right yeah um, the polar plunge I like Southern Florida on the Gulf side where the water is about ninety three degrees yeah. during summer yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree yeah it's like bath water yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah and you know everybody's peeing in it so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the salt kills it, right? That's right. Yeah. So there's a lot of commotion up there. Yeah, that, is it crazy. bring your dog to the studio day? Yeah, it is. It actually oh, is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yoshi's up there. What? <laughs> <laughs> is Buster here, too? No, Buster, no. He's old and crabby. So, um, well, obviously, I'm looking forward to the wedding. Good, good answer. Wanna, good answer, Greg. I, you know, I have, like... How long was it? Eighty days. Eighty two. Well, that was, was like, the other day. Yeah. That yeah. Was, so you're probably was that on Christmas Day? So I have about that. You're sub eighty, I bet you. Yeah. Yeah. It's 80. like probably Jeez. seventy nine days. I have to lose about I don't know how many pounds. Oh. I've, I've let my so well everyone looks good in a suit, right? Or a tux. Tux. You know? Yeah. That's what they say? Especially fat boys like me. Yeah. So it's <laughs> fine. Yeah. I. Oh, well, the dresses are in. That's oh. a wedding update. Oh, I have, I have, Lori said her, the dress was in. Her oh. dress was in. Oh, I don't know good. about Molly's, but hers is. Yeah, I yeah she just she's probably how the fittings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, well, <laughs> good show, gentlemen. Well, it's been uh, you know, it's been fun. It We've done been this since. Year. This is the part of the show that he looks forward to the most: getting to hit that button and play yeah. music. We've. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we need, need new theme music for the oh, new year. Gosh. Yeah, that's okay. That now, that would be really a good. If you want to make changes, you realize 
that there's only a couple days until next week's show. So if you really yeah. want to make And he's got to edit this and complain <laughs> about editing this and then upload it and then complain about uploading it. And, and how, what do you, and what do, you, you do? And, and how I'm the color guy on the show. The I mean, come on. Guy. Color. And then he has to complain about how YouTube is screwing him and yeah. changing everything. Uh, these jerks are going to be here <laughs> next year. You're not firing us? Yeah, we're getting ready. Yeah. I think that's why Mike was on the other week is to replace yeah, one of us, I think. Getting ready to replace. I got to find another replacement. <laughs> They'll be all set. <laughs> Ones that have, you know, don't open their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> In the damn show. Come on. All right. Um, so Where can you find us? We're on beer30.tv and YouTube dot com slash beer 30 tv and if you have listened to us <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why you, npr guy yeah yeah <laughs> Thank you. why do you gotta give throw this to me you guys talk faster <laughs> no one understands us what you you know? know what to say i was just gonna pull something up and then i forgot what i was doing Soda. <laughs> Thanks for, don't forget to donate. Yeah, don't forget to donate. Hey, um, yeah, you know one thing? We trash. would love feedback. If you guys are listening on uh, the uh, podcast to the podcast on Google Play or iTunes or Stitcher, please let us know. What's, um, what's that address to send feedback? Um, well. Yeah, we need a really simple. We need a simple like address. St- stuck in beta at gmail dot com or something. You want to go register that real quick? I don't think we can. Uh, we'll try stuck in beta podcast at. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll you know what? That needs to be our resolution for next year. Figure out how to we'll, interact and, with people. Okay, find the theme music. Okay. We'll, <laughs> find a way to get people involved and people listening. That's yeah, and make some money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> or at least get free beer. Get people to send us. Be- well, that's All probably right. illegal if you cross state lines. And well, they years. could send us money for beer. <laughs> okay. All right. See you later. <laughs>